Kate, thank you. And what you just heard were some of the shots that were heard in August as six officers were shot during a dramatic standoff that lasted for hours. The man accused of that shooting was in court this morning, and so were many members of the police force. Our Matt Petrillo was there as well. He joins us now from outside the criminal justice facility with today's developments. Matt. Yuki Mauricio's preliminary hearing lasted four hours today here at the Criminal Justice Center while we heard testimony from several of the officers responding to that shootout who we didn't hear inside the courtroom today was Maurice Hill, the alleged shooter, and outside of court while well, his family was tight-lipped as well. Is there anything you want to say to the officers who police say your son trying to kill? The mother of accused attempted cop killer Maurice Hill had nothing to say today outside the Criminal Justice Center in defense of her son. What do you make of the defense I have attorney? nothing to say. Hill is accused of firing at police officers in Philadelphia's Nicetown Tioga neighborhood during a seven hour long shootout back in August. That's when prosecutors say six officers were struck by gunfire. All survived, but during Hill's preliminary hearing today, officers Officer Justin Matthews, who was hit in his thigh, was seen still walking with a limp. Another officer, Sean Parker, showed the court scars on his arms that he got after he had to climb out of a broken window to escape rounds of gunfire. A bullet had also grazed his head. I think the bravery of the Philadelphia Police Department was on full display today because you heard a number of officers talk about how they um, took fire. Prosecutor Anthony Voci, speaking after the hearing, said the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office now plans to file an additional 62 attempted murder charges against Hill. So anybody, any officer that was fired upon that uh, afternoon, uh, as far as we're concerned, is, is a victim of an attempted murder. And when asked how much time Maurice Hill could get if convicted, Prosecutor Anthony Voci said he will likely get so many years that it will equal many life sentences. Reporting live tonight in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.